Hey, it's Longshot here again with another uh, video with commentary. Uh, this time I will be using the intervention and uh, starting off with a glorious death. Um, I have Full Metal Jacket or FMJ attached to my uh, intervention digital skin, as you can see. Um, nothing else besides that. First slot, I believe I have Sleight of Hand Pro. Second slot, Stop Stopping Power Pro, and third, Ninja Pro. Um, Ninja Pro can be swapped out for uh, Steady Aim Pro, whatever you want. And this is uh, this is free for all. Uh, I've been trying to make one of these intervention videos for a while, but uh, just never been in a good enough of a mood or too tired to maybe uh, snipe good. So I uh, went for it in the morning and uh, recorded it, tried it out. And uh, one thing I like to talk about is uh, the matchmaking for the PC, because uh, I am playing for the PC, as you can probably tell that there's no analog with a stick figure thing in the kill street corner. Um, ooh, lag. I do suffer frame loss quite a lot. I don't know why. Stupid traps. But uh, about the matchmaking, it has just truly fucked up for PC now. I mean, before it was bearable. I mean, you could live through it. But now it's just uh, ridiculous. Because after every single match, it kicks you out to your lobby. And uh, sometimes it even gives you some kind of a weird error. I, I don't know if everybody's been having this, but I get it. It's like really long text about levels, ranks, and blah, blah, blah. It just flickers real quick. And then you're back in your uh, game lobby. Um, another thing, uh, it updates your playlist. Like it'll randomly, you'll be in a lobby with your friends. And you're like trying to set up a party, you know, let's do some hardcore headquarters or something. And uh, it kicks you out, it says updating your playlist. Or, or it says also that, uh, it's going to download it now. A big notification, which is just retarded. You don't really need a notification to tell you that it's going to be downloading a new playlist. Like, I don't need to know that. How about you just do it without notifying me and letting me continue my game non-stop. With no break in between. That's really been taking me off lately. I might even go back to playing Bad Company 2. The beta, of course. Uh, game's not out yet. I did pre-order. Got my beta. It is a uh, rather fun game. It is enjoyable. Sniping is way different. You actually, uh, the further you are, the more you have to uh, predict ahead. Which is really nice dynamic to uh, sniping. At the core, it is a Battlefield game. I mean... If you've never played a Battlefield game and you're like switching over from Modern Warfare 2, you uh, you will hate it. You you won't exactly love it because uh, you're not used to the kind of gameplay or game style it requires. But uh, I myself have played Battlefield 2. I've uh, played the expansion for Battlefield 2. I uh, also played Battlefield 2142, which is the futuristic one. And uh, I in Bad Company 2, I really feel it's like a mesh of all those games put together and. It, at, at its core, it is Battlefield game, and that's that's pretty cool. It's a pretty beast. Cause at times you uh, you do need to slow down. You can't be all uh, Modern Warfare 2 Russian action kind of gameplay. It's a perfect game to do it with. I have no, I have no idea how I'm doing so good with an intervention. Uh, this was just completely luck. I gotta say. I mean, I have done better, but for a morning game. I expect myself to suck a lot more with a sniper. Surprisingly enough, I actually got a chopper gunner. And I do have the uh, new layout. I do try to go for it, but a lot of times I my chopper gets destroyed and never quite get there. And yeah, so yeah, that setup is Harriers, chopper gunner, and nuke, of course. So seven, eleven, and twenty-five. And uh. When I compare intervention with semi-automatic rifles, like intervention, I really love it in normal mode, and uh, same with the Barrett. But the Barrett has too much of a kick for me, if you ask me. But you know, some people make do with the kick. And there's prefer it over uh, intervention. But intervention, I really like for normal mode. Um, I mostly play hardcore, and in hardcore mode, I find a semi-automatic sniper way more useful. Enemy care package I, I use an M21 or the WA2000, but since I do have the M21 unlocked, uh, I'm using that one. M21 is a pretty beast gun. And, uh, 
Yeah. My most of campground is in this house. <laughs> Seems like the easiest spot. You can check all the corners, rooftops, you got everything in plain view and you have plenty of cover. Except for that uh one window there, it's you gotta watch out for that in the staircase. Otherwise it's just a perfect spot. Watching a gunfight going on over there and uh, I see <laughs> nothing rolling around. Yeah, at one point I did run out of ammo, so I using the Rafika. And that does happen a lot when you try to go for a nuke, you will run out of ammo. And actually, I was contemplating on that to make this a commentary or make a montage, but since this is all one gameplay, like all one game, I decided to uh, make it a commentary, but I will be making a montage combined with this and uh, a couple other maps that I've gotten kills on with the intervention Enemy UAV and see how that works out Enemy care package incoming. and uh, claymores, claymores are sniping and especially free for all it's a necessity I mean you can't go on without one it's like your perfect companion you'll watch your back no matter what and my back being that doorway over there I'm just gonna sneak up on and just kill me the reason I paused there because I heard him I use a uh, headset and because of that I hear uh, things you normally wouldn't do. The guy was kind of pissing me off a little bit with his uh, last, uh, last final stand. And, uh, that knife right there was like the nutcase knife I've ever heard. Like I see a lot of people doing this. It's so cheap and it's extremely lucky. Because you're pretty much not even looking at the person you're just kind of swinging by and stabbing them. I love it when I do it. <laughs> Hate it when people do it to me. Okay. And this is the part where I get shotgunned into the side because my claymore got destroyed. As you can tell, I do have a bit of a nasal congestion problem going on. It is cold out. Just snow this morning. Had a uh, 90 minute delay. The reason why I got to play Modern Warfare 2 in the morning. Get yeah, my intervention kills going on. Got to make this video. And uh, close around here, my computer just completely craps out due to a uh, lack of hard drive space. And this just starts lagging. I don't know why Fraps does that. Usually, uh, I remember the old version, Fraps just stops recording. But now it seems that uh, it starts, like, the raw video starts recording it less well, I guess. I don't know. My frames dropped a shitload. And, uh, this was a really close game. Um, so I was one kill away from winning, and uh, death-wise, I was doing pretty good. And uh, yeah, this this was the video. Hope you uh, liked it. Feel free to comment, subscribe, rate it. Feel free to ask any questions, especially because this is the PC version. I play the PC. I can give you some cool tips, tricks, whatever you want in the next video. That's the way she come through life. Cause I just set them up, just set them up